Hi there, Leo. I'm here to do your love reading for the month of July 2019. So we have a lot to talk about because what I'm seeing right off the bat here is you have the Three of Swords and this is showing up in the middle of your timeline. So for some of you, this is going to be symbolic of um, a heartbreak that is occurring towards the middle of July. However, for a lot of you, I'm getting the feeling here that you already know of this heartbreak because you're starting to change the entire situation. You have the Wheel of Fortune right next to this and you also have death clarifying this. So this means that yes, you are transforming this Three of Swords heartbreak situation. I do feel like this is an old energy, Leo. You also have melancholy clarifying this, so that goes hand in hand. Obviously, this was something that deeply upset you. Um, I feel like you are kind of regurgitating a lot of past emotions and that's being clarified as well within your overall energy because you have the nine of swords here in your overall energy and you also have the butterfly lenormand that is clarifying this so yes leo you have been in your head a lot or in the month of july you're going to feel like you're in your head a lot i do get the feeling here that you are worried, you're very anxious, you're staying up late at night and ruminating over things and it's almost like you just cannot escape your own mind and that's not comfortable. Um, but because you have the Butterfly Lenormand clarifying this, Leo, you're going to break out of this. You're going to feel more free because I feel like this is an energy, again, with your Three of Swords, that you've been dealing with for quite some time. This is also why, Leo, you have not been making efforts or making moves towards other people. And I'm saying that because you have your Knight of Wands reversed here. So you have been um, not being very direct with people in your love life, people that you're interested in. You've kind of been hanging out by the wayside, not not galloping towards people, meaning not really extending yourself to people. I feel like this can be very confusing to others because you also have the Knight of Swords reversed here and you do have the Queen of Cups reversed. I do feel like there are people that are very much interested in you, Leo. Uh, they do want to offer you love with your Page of Cups here. They want to give you some kind of a reassurance in their feelings towards you but you're kind of holding people off i feel because again you're showing up as the knight of wands reversed and this is due to your nine of swords this is due to your own anxieties and this is very clearly um creating some kind of a halt because with your knight of wands reversed and your Knight of Swords reversed, these two knights are reversed, which means they're not moving forward towards each other. So any forward movement has kind of hit like a wall. Or in the month of July, you may notice that based on your own expressions towards others, that they feel that they have to pull back. And that does remind me of your last month's reading. I did speak about someone that was either withholding, contracting, or generally um, they were still holding on or there was an energy of clinging, but they were still not solidifying anything. So that would make sense here because the energy is basically the same. This is all due to the Three of Swords here. This is all due to mental agitation and sadness having to do with either a past, a past heartbreak or a current heartbreak. This is for some of you, going to happen towards the middle of July, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about in terms of a heartbreak. But again, for the majority of you, you'll already know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Um, now, I feel like with this Knight of Swords, which can be very indicative of an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm also seeing water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or for some of you, you may be dealing with a fellow fire sign. I feel like they are having to match your energy because 
with these two knights reversed, it's like, okay, if you're not coming towards me, then I'm not coming towards you. So they're having to really gauge where you're at. So this is kind of like premeditated, but they're doing it in a way to not scare you off. And this can be vice versa to where you're having to kind of tiptoe around someone, but the energy is the same. Someone here is really struggling with either depression, anxiety, or this heartbreak situation. Now, I feel like for you, Leo, because you also have the Eight of Pentacles in your energy, you're going to be focusing your efforts on what you can control. And that does symbolize working on your business or working on your career or putting yourself in a position where you can achieve your goals this month. You're also going to be feeling that kind of fire to work really hard and to get yourself to a point where you do feel more stable because if you're up at night worrying about your love life or worrying about your emotions um, you may find a solace in the fact that you can control the minor or the major dealings or aspects within your career and I do see that as being very positive and being very beneficial. I don't necessarily feel like this is going to bring you the emotional fulfillment that you need this month, but what I am seeing here in terms of your own progress within your own personal life is even though you know, you're being met with people that are matching your energy or having to tiptoe around you, um, you're going to be making strides in your personal business or your personal affairs having to do with your money, having to do with your finances. And also, you have lover on top of your knight of swords. So yes, some of you are dealing with someone that is an air sign or someone that is acting like an air sign. Um, now, in your timeline, Leo... You have the Queen of Wands here, so this can be symbolic of your energy. You also have Sweetheart on top of this. So for those of you that are dealing with a fellow fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries, I feel like there's something kind of pivotal happening with this person because right next to this, you have the Wheel of Fortune and Transformation. This is all about karma. And this does have to do with a past heartbreak, but I feel like for the majority of you, you're leaving that past heartbreak behind and you have someone here who really loves you because you have the Page of Cups here. They really want to work on a situation with you, Leo. I feel like they're coming to your aid because you also have Temperance here at the end of your timeline and you have Friend on top of this. So they may be coming to you as someone that you can rely on and someone that can be very healing for you with temperance here, someone that can balance your emotions. Um, for others of you that are dealing with this Three of Swords energy this month, I feel like you're going to find solace in relying on someone who is very nurturing and relying on your friends to deal with this. Um, I feel like for those of you that do have a confidant, this is someone that is more than likely a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, because it's right next to your queen of cups here. Um, you do have someone that is very nurturing around you, is able to heal you at this time and restore your emotions here. And I feel like that's where you're going to be, be breaking out of this kind of nine of swords energy where it's like you can't sleep. And then towards the end of the month here, you're restoring yourself again. You're getting back to that equilibrium. This is with the help of friends. This is with the help of your support system. I also feel like for those of you that have been dealing with heartbreak or that are going to be dealing with this energy, you're making huge strides to move on and to move past this. You have journey on top of this and on top of your queen of cups here reversed. So for some of you, this person that hurt you in the past was a manipulative person. Uh, the Queen of Cups being reversed in a reading can definitely symbolize someone that was emotionally manipulative, someone that really used 
kind of like a pity party, like it was all about them. And this probably is what caused the Three of Swords because whenever you have the Queen of Cups reversed, she's someone that can definitely be, he or she is someone that can be, you know, it's, it's all about them. It's either their way or the highway. And I feel like you were dealing with this individual and you had to journey away from them. And you're going to be supported by friends that are nurturing and that do help you towards the end of July here. So if you start off the month, Leo, feeling like you are just completely like a nervous wreck and you cannot sleep, then understand that towards the end of July, you are going to be feeling 10 times better. You also have a love offer coming in here with your page of cups and at the bottom of the deck this is the outcome or this is the kind of the next step in what's going to happen with this whole saga so you have the page of cups here you also have lord clarified in this so i feel like you're going to be restoring your confidence and the seven of wands you've really had to kind of defend yourself or you've been feeling like you are on the defense this is what's been keeping a commitment away from you or not being able to establish a commitment, okay? But like I said, someone very much wants to work on this with you. You have the Three of Pentacles. And look at this, the Ace of Cups. Yes, okay. You have love coming in, Leo. Um, someone wants to really restore the balance with you. Six of Pentacles. They want to be in a relationship with you where it's an equal balance and for some of you you could be dealing with a Sagittarius I just picked that up very strongly um, someone or Libra because she is holding the scales someone definitely wants to be there for you because they know that you're going through some things with your nine of swords over here you may have to make a choice. You do have the two of wands here, which is that crossroads. I feel like, Leo, you're planning something, and I feel like you're being quite strategic with this. Page of swords. There's that air sign-like individual. Um, not only are you going to be receiving a lot of communication from people this month, I feel like you're going to have to really decide which one you want to be with or which one you see yourself being with and this is going to bring some clarity to you and i also feel like you're being very observant of others at this time and they're also observing your every move so just be aware of that with the page of swords there and i feel like this is going to bring you the clarity to where you can actually make that decision because you have the three of wands here so your path is going to be a lot more clear towards the end of July. And I feel like right now, Leo is saving energy. I feel like you are trying to get to a place of more stability with your Four of Pentacles here. That does involve your career. It involves saving. It involves not being vulnerable. And I feel like that's where Leo is struggling right now because you have been hurt with your three of swords and you are just terrified of being vulnerable again so you're keeping new ideas new prospects and you know you're keeping your heart protected at this time but that's also quite boring to you because you have the four of cups here so the month of july may not be the most exciting for you leo i feel like it's really about restoration in the face of not getting what you wanted, okay? And you are going to be feeling much brighter and much healthier towards the end of July with the sun here. I feel like any mental issues or agitation that you're going through, you're going to be transforming this energy. Again, death and the wheel of fortune. I feel like on some level this had to happen because you're getting to a much healthier place and I feel like the way that you interact with certain people this month that may be a bit touchy because you do have someone here who is obviously wanting to go towards you with your two knights reversed 
you are the one that's kind of holding this off. So just be aware of how that's affecting others, okay? Because I feel like a lot of conversations are going to be coming towards you about this and about how they're feeling. And yeah, I feel like with strength reversed here, it's almost like the dam is going to break in terms of communication. But I feel like emotions will be restored. This may come after a period of time because you have the seven of pentacles here. So just give it time. I feel like timing is very important right now. Okay, Leo. By the way, you are dealing with someone that is a soulmate connection to you. Someone that is in your life for a reason. And I'll explain to you why I'm saying that in the extended reading, okay? Now, how you're feeling about this person, Leo, is you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and the Six of Wands. So there is going to be a lot of conversations with this individual. Um, you're going to be feeling like you're the victor, like you came out on top in terms of the Sun card, in terms of restoring the situation, in terms of progressing further and getting to that equilibrium again with this person. So with the six of wands here, I feel like Leo, you are in a sense, the center of attention this month, but you may not be able to really see that because you're not only are you heartbroken, but you're also very much in your head and you may be isolating yourself. But I feel like when you have these heart to heart conversations, you're going to feel like there's someone who you can rely on. This is going to make you feel like you've actually struck gold in a sense. I don't know why I just said that, but you do have victory in the situation. You also have finances and career. So you did have the eight of pentacles here. So you are making strides in your own stability in your own life personally. Um, you also have the page of cups here, which you had at the bottom of your deck originally. And this is also a very kind of studious card because he's crumpling up a piece of paper and he's having to write something. So I feel like that's really where your effort and your energy and your focus is going to be, um, spotlighted on. Like you're going to be very much focused on your finances and your career, and I feel like that's actually very healthy for you at this time because it's going to be kind of like a creative outlet for you. Um, and I feel like this conversation that you're going to have with someone is going to be something that is kind of out of left field. It's going to come out of nowhere for some of you. And this victory or this sense of you winning out or something is definitely just like completely changing on a dime here. That's the energy that I'm getting, especially again, because you had the wheel of fortune here and transformation on top of this. Okay. So Leo, we're going to see how this person feels about you and also the outcome of the situation in the extended reading. And I did pull some Oracle cards for you as well. So head on over to Patreon if you're interested in that. And I will talk to you all next month, Leo. You have someone kind of waiting in the wings that is, for some of you, this is going to be like a friend, someone like a confidant, someone that you are interested in. And when you have a conversation with them this month, you may realize that the emotions between you are deeper than you had originally anticipated, or you're going to have some kind of clarity with regards to a conversation where you feel on top of the world.